What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So today we're doing a Q&A video and we haven't done one of these since like June. So it's high time we get one of these going. And just so you know, the questions that I'm going to be answering are coming in from Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go over there and give me a follow. That's kind of where we have a lot of fun. I don't take myself too seriously over there. And uh, I tend to be pretty active on stories, daily life, what's going on. And I try to have a good time with you guys. So um, anyway, so we're going to get into some of these questions right now. Okay, getting into the questions. And by the way, if you see me looking this way, I'm reading the questions on my computer screen. First question is, how do you control your weight? I'm a small frame dude, like I, I always have been. I'm five foot nine, I'm about 175, maybe even closer to 180 at this point. Um, generally speaking, generally speaking, I do intermittent fasting. So right now it's straight up 11 o'clock in the morning and I haven't had anything except coffee. I generally won't eat anything until about noon or one o'clock. Generally, sometimes I don't do that. But, um, and also, if, if you're members of my channel and you see my private videos, you know that I just got some fitness equipment right here in the house. So I'm trying to get a little more physically fit. Okay, next question. John, are you back dating or living the free agent lifestyle? Yeah, I'm, I'm a free agent at this point. Technically, I don't, I don't, I'm not taking this stuff very seriously. Dating is not a priority for me at the moment. So I'm really not heavily in the game, so to speak. Uh, I have some friends, some female friends that I just go do random stuff with, but that's kind of as far as that goes. And I've made it very clear that, you know, I just want to be friends and, you know, have, have people to do cool things with, cool people to do cool things with. That's as far as I'm going at the moment. Okay. More dating questions. <laughs> Dave is asking, do you have any luck dating younger women? Yes. I generally, generally speaking, don't have a problem. However, let me, let me say two things. I'm way better in person than I am on dating apps. I'm on like one app right now and I really don't give it a whole lot of attention. Um, and also I'm not really interested in dating younger women, twenties, early thirties. I'm just, what do we have in common? Like I, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not that interested in going that young. All right, next question is biggest challenge being solo in your 40s. So I'm 53, so whatever, 40s, 50s, it's all the same. Uh, the biggest challenge for me personally is like being bored and kind of a little bit lonely. Here's what I mean by that. So I'm, I'm sort of a introverted extrovert, an ambivert. I think I'm sort of straddle the line. So for example, today is Thursday. I have not left my house since Sunday. I've just been hammering out work. I'm getting stir crazy. I need to get out of my house. So I'm probably gonna leave after I film this video. I've gotta go run some errands. And so I'm gonna, I, I gotta get out of the house. The thing is though, on say like a Friday night or maybe a Saturday night, if I don't have like a friend to go do stuff with, that kind of sucks to a degree. And I've talked about this in other videos that I'm, I'm cool going out and doing things by myself. I really, really am, but not all the time. Like I want to be social. I want to talk to people and like experience whatever I'm doing with friends. And so I think sometimes being solo and not like having plans with someone to go do cool shit with that gets a little bit boring. All right. Next question is about gray hair tricks and or products that gray haired men can do or use to make their gray hair whiter. I don't know what you mean by whiter. So if you, if your gray hair has like a brassy or bronzy tint to it, purple shampoo all day long. Um, if I remember, I'll put the link to the purple shampoo that I use down in the video description. I've been using purple shampoo two to three times a week for the last couple of years. Um, and that takes away that sort of bronzy brassy tint. The other thing, normally I get questions about how do I darken my gray hair without using hair color? If that's you, um, gray blending, look up gray blending, talk to a stylist. When you get out of the shower and towel dry your hair, your hair is still kind of damp, but darker. That's what gray blending does. Check it out. Okay. Vincent is asking what kind of coffee machine do you have? So I've got a few, but the one you're probably asking about if you follow my Instagram 
is the um, uh, Breville Barista. I think that's what it is. I'll do a correction on screen if that's not correct. Um, but yeah, so however, I am looking at upgrading. So stay tuned. I like the Breville. I need something a little bit, a little bit more. The, the pump for the milk is a little bit weak, so I'm, I'm looking. So stay tuned, I've got my eyes on a few. All right, next question is, if you could only buy one suit, what color would you choose? Charcoal gray, like a medium to medium dark gray. Weddings, funerals, um, formal events, casual parties, charcoal gray, medium gray, pretty much covers the base for everything. Okay, next question. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Andrew Tate? Look, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this because this could be a whole video. I will say, and I will admit and be honest with, when I first kind of started hearing about this guy and I saw all the sound bites, I didn't like what I heard. I totally disagreed with everything he had to say. I have since, sort of over the last couple of months, kind of looked at more of his long form stuff and it's not so much what he says, it's how he says it that gets people kind of sideways. I think he's intelligent. I think he's well-spoken. Uh, I think he talks like at 10,000 RPM. So he says a lot of words really, really fast. And, uh, and I think he's brave to say some of the things that he says that challenge the beliefs of most people. So initially, I hated everything the guy had to say. After I've consumed more of his content, I've kind of shifted a little bit to the middle. All right, so I got this next question a couple different times. Uh, why do you always insist on not wearing a smartwatch? Some of them match with even formal. I disagree. Uh, the other question, how can I wear my Apple Watch and look good? Don't wear it formally. Don't, look, this is just my opinion. We can still be friends. But in my opinion, a smartwatch is a computer on your wrist. Sure, it tells the time. The only thing, in my opinion, that make it look fancy is the, the strap or the bracelet that you would put on it. Otherwise, it's a smartwatch. It's a smartwatch. It's not supposed to be a formal piece. Okay, newly divorced. I'm sorry about that, Eric. Uh, time to wait before dating again. It was, uh, he was married for 28 years. First of all, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Divorce is never, you know, a great situation. Um, time to wait before dating again. It, it's going to be different for everybody, right? So if you're still holding on to that relationship, if there's still something there for you, you're pining over and you're missing the person, you're not ready. If, if, if maybe the divorce was your idea and maybe that person wasn't good for you and you put it all behind you, you're ready. Like, what are you waiting for? I, I would say that you're ready now. The other school of thought is uh, date your way through the breakup. Date your way through the divorce. Get on apps, meet people, start doing things, start going out and sort of occupy your time. Some people say that's a good idea. Some people, that's, some people say that's not a good idea. It's different for everyone. So I think my answer is it depends. Okay, we're going to hit the way back machine for this one. Were you popular in high school? Yes and no. I, I, I knew popular people. So I was a car guy. I was into cars. And a lot of the, you know, the football guys, the sports guys, all the jocks and all the cool guys, they were into cars as well. So I, I knew these guys and we would chat about cars, but I was not really in the, the popular clique. Um, but I also wasn't like an outcast either. I was somewhere right in the middle. I had long hair. I was a rock, rock and roll rocker guy. I smoked cigarettes. I saw what hang out with like all the smokers at the smoking section in high school. But I was somewhere, I was somewhere right in the middle. Hi, John. Did you use minoxidil to grow your beard? No, this is, no, this, and it's not even that great of a beard. No. Do you ever wear ascots? How would you style it? Uh, I don't own an ascot and I don't even know how to tie one. A right, really cool question here. If you were to return to college at this stage, what would you major in? So it's funny, I've actually thought about this. So let, let me answer the question. Viticulture and chemistry. I've thought a lot about going through the sommelier certification program to try to be like a certified level one or level two sommelier. So if I was going to go back to school, it would have to do with obviously chemistry and viticulture so I could learn how to make wine. <laughs> what is your idea of the perfect date? There isn't really a perfect date, but I would say um, something a little more chill, relaxed, 
so I could have a conversation with the person, get to know the person. Yeah, I'm not trying to go kayaking. I'm not gonna go see a movie. I need to be able to engage with the person, get a feel for the flow of conversation. You know, all of the, like, what are your mannerisms? Like, I'm into all of that stuff. So, something a little more chill. All right, what kind of suit matches body type? Extra tall and thin versus average and muscular, etc. Single versus double. This might be an entire video, so let me try to just unpack this really quick and not take too long. If you're a bigger guy, don't wear thin lapels. Get something that's a little bit wider that covers up the distance between where the lapel is and your shoulder. I'll try to put some images on screen to kind of show what I'm talking about. But yeah, I think that's the biggest mistake I see bigger guys make when they're wearing suits. Hi John, can you please do more style videos as well as fragrance reviews? Yes, noted. Thank you for the suggestion. It's funny, I did that fragrance, I, I did like a video of, of my whole fragrance collection and you guys seem to like it. So yeah, let me, let me dive into that a little bit more. Okay, Doug is asking, is it overkill to wear a dress shirt and a jacket on a Zoom call if it is important, uh, like an interview, or is that overkill? No, it's not overkill at all. It depends on the job. If you're, if you're on a Zoom call to be a remote, like work from home copywriter or editor, I'd say that would be overkill. If you're trying to you know, sell yourself as a consultant or something that's along the professional side, Definitely, you got to look put together, so not overkill in that situation. Oh boy, do you ever go commando? No, uh, no, there's no. I need what's the Seinfeld episode? What is what is what does Kramer say? He needs a house for his boy. My boys need a house. <laughs> yeah, so no, I don't go commando. Uh, but sleeping, on the other hand, yeah, completely naked. It's warm. It's hot here. I need to be. I need. I need air. I need to breathe. You know, it's kind of funny because when I put the call out on Instagram to send me questions for this video, I said like, ask me anything, we'll make it spicy. Ever been in a threesome? <laughs> yes, that's all I'm gonna say. On that bombshell, guys, if you are considering joining the membership section on my YouTube channel, please go over there and consider it because I'm trying to do a lot more for you guys and, and, if you are a member or considering being a member, let me know what you guys want to see over there. I would really appreciate it because I'm trying to do a lot more for you guys. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.